Welcome back. Now on to matters education. Kenya Red, Red Cross Society has pledged to support learning institutions in setting up and adhering to the COVID-19 precautionary measures as they reopen for in-person learning. Speaking after leading a donation of personal protective equipment worth 7 million shillings, the Society's Secretary General, Dr. Asha Mohammed, noted that there is need for concerted efforts by stakeholders to protect learners. The first reopening of learning institutions in the country has commenced with several schools yet to meet the threshold of adhering to the COVID-19 safety protocols to ensure safety of learners. Speaking after leading a donation of personal protective equipment purchased through funding from the European Union worth 7 million shillings, Kenya Red Cross Society Secretary General Dr. Asha Mohammed underscored the need for concerted efforts in ensuring that all schools are safe for in person learning sisi pia ni kuangalia kuwa ni vipi tunaweza kushirikiana na serikali ya county na hata serikali kuu uh, mahali ambapo tunaweza na washikadau wengine kuhakikisha kuwa wakati wanafunzi wanarudi kuna vifaa katika shule za kuwasaidia she said that the precautionary measures have helped contain the spread of other diseases challenging kenyans not to let their guard down post the covid-19 pandemic Sentiments echoed separately by Mavoko MP Patrick Macau, who wants the Ministry of Education to ensure that grade 4 pupils, standard 8 and form 4 candidates are tested for COVID-19 before resuming learning on Monday. There is nowhere we are going. Mutoto lizane wako kaa kwa nyumba until, until tuone corona imeenda chini. Elsewhere, Masai Mara Technical and Vocational Training College has been opened with 26 students who are set to sit for their examinations in March this year, reporting back. A spot check by KBC Channel 1 indicated that the institution has managed to put up 15 hand washing points with running water, sanitizers at the institution's gate and a compulsory temperature check. As at now, we have received a total of uh, 28 students and we expect more since the total number that is expected to report for the aborted March 2020 uh, NEC examinations for technical and business examinations is expected a uh, total of 20, uh, 69 uh, students. For Channel 1 News, I'm Safin Aching Oma.